Hello YouTubers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the banner on your UCAUSE website. First off, load up your control panel for your website. It should look like this. The site template I'm going to be using is number 797, so if you want to follow along using the same template, feel free to do so. So what we're going to do first is go to the control panel and go to Customize Design. Then go to Style Sheet under the common templates. Um, find the image files for your banner. They shouldn't be too far from the cop. Copy everything in the brackets, which is right here. It should say something like dash dot s dash t dash seven ninety seven dash two dot jpg. And if you want to check this file and see if this is the banner that you're looking for, first off, let me show you how the, um, my page looks like. So here's how it looks like. So, oops, oh, oops. Go to S102. Um. Dot .ucause.net dot net and then type this in and then copy and paste whatever was after here so this is the blue bar which is this which is behind this so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save this image whip, into your And then after that, you're going to want to go to 3.png, which is also right here. It would be right here. Dash dot s dash t dash 797 dash 3.png. So this is what the original template looks like from the start. So here's what it looks like in the start. Okay, so this is the image file that was right here. You're going to want to save the image as. And you're going to save it as this. Or just download it as it is. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to open them up in Photoshop. Oops. Okay, we're gonna. Oh my god. This computer's lagging. So you're gonna wanna open up both these files 2 and 3. And what you're gonna wanna do with this picture is you're gonna just wanna erase it completely. Let's just save that. Okay, so go to this one. And you can add some text if you want. I'm just going to make it say uh, test web page. Okay. We're going to change the layer styles blending options. I'm just going to add a drop shadow, make this 120 degrees, because I like that better. Add some distance on it, change the size a bit. Um, add an inner shadow, and alright. 
So let's just save this. Um, I'm just gonna save it as the same format, which was a JPEG. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if it saved this file. Yeah, just to be sure, I'm just gonna add one little pixel. Added one little white pixel. And I'm just gonna make the opacity like four. Okay. So save that as a um what was it a PNG? Yes, override it. Click OK. And then you're pretty much done with Photoshop once you're done editing all the stuff that you want. Oops, cancel. Nope. And nope. Okay, so once you're done with that, you can open back up your website. Go back here. Open up your main panel page and go into your file manager and upload the two files, the two picture files. Oh, guess I gotta add them one by one. both those files. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the direct links to the files. So this was number two. You're going to go into customize design and find picture number two. Replace it with what you just uploaded. Number three or picture three. Um, then click save. And some websites have this uh, my site thingy and that'll overlap your banner which you really don't want because it just looks like crap. So how to fix this, just go back into customize design, go to the top part of your website and under the logo tags which should be right here just erase it completely and then click save so once you open up your test or your website you have your new banner um, thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe I hope you liked the website tutorial so um, bye